Hey there, Libra. This is Chronic Joy Tarot. Happy New Year. And this is going to be your January 2018 Zen Tarot reading or at whatever point you happen to be watching this video. This is right now I've called in the energy of Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. You could be cross-watching. You could, this could message could be specifically for you. Who knows? But thank you for being here. Um, for those returning, thank you so much for continuing to be with me. And if you're new, welcome. And know that, um, you know, the style that I read, I read from this Zen Tarot deck here. We're going to get our um, oracle card that's going to guide us to our topic and then do an in-depth reading about that topic. And my reading style, you should know, is less about others, less about predictions and outcomes and things that are going on, and more about just your own soul's expansion and where you stand now and what, what kind of aspect of yourself and what aspect of your life you can focus on at this time in order to make some progress with your, um, with your soul's path, on your soul's path, okay? The Oracle card I pulled for you at this time, Libra, is the um, release card, release. Yeah, it's time to shed those things that are not serving you anymore. And this happens, you know, periodically in our lives. We shed jobs and career paths and relationships and belongings, um, you know, let go of whatever has outlived its purposefulness. Let go of it. And then trust that something will take its place. Okay, so this is a time of release for you, letting go. Letting go of a concept, an idea, um, you know, within you maybe. Let go of, if you tend to be, um, um, you know, I don't know, if you tend to take things really personally, then maybe you're working on letting that go, letting that aspect of yourself go, because that doesn't serve you anymore. Or a person, you know, a relationship, um, a home, a job, whatever. This is about you and releasing um the part of your life that you no longer need, okay? The spread is called the flying bird. This is the point of liftoff, and then we take flight and move through to a new level of awareness. The left wing are internal energies that are going on within you that you touch with, um, touch base with, and that others may not be aware of. And the right wing are external energies and how these play off each other and show up in your life, okay? Starting point for you, Libra. Oh, I love this consciousness. You are raising your awareness. You're raising your level of consciousness. You're tapping more into your higher self than you ever have. Um, you know, we're never done, none of us. We're never done. We've never arrived all the way. Um, it's, you know, if you're talking in sense of Buddhism, it's our aspiration to get there, get there and to enlightenment. But, um, you know, it's day to day. It's a daily consistent application and you are you are turning more to your higher self and your inner being than ever before. And that's a beautiful thing. This is a great place to be. And when you begin to do this and raise your consciousness and get to a point of more spirituality and less sort of three-dimensional stuff, you really do start to release a lot. You release friendships, you release relationships, you release, you know, old ways of being, you release, some people like to get rid of all their belongings and live very simply, you know, um, it's, it's your path and um, your choice what to release, but you're getting there. You really are. You're raising your consciousness. Internally, um, the internal energy that goes along with that, that plays off of this is your inner voice. Obvious. Yeah. You're tapping into that more and more, right? Less and less, what will others think? And more and more, what am I guided to do? What does my guidance tell me? You know, trust that. That's, that's, you know, the relationship that you have with yourself is the only one that you'll have forever. Think of it that way. It's the longest relationship you'll have is the one you have with yourself. And so you're getting this though. You're getting this Libra. It's really showing up for you and you're feeling stronger and stronger. Um, 
and more and more willing to release things that aren't serving you. And that, look at that, you're in the midst of change. Now we all always are, that's what life is, it's change, but you're really feeling this wave right now. And you're able to, more than ever, sort of rest in the middle. If you see this wheel, it's spinning around the universe and you know, maybe in the past you would have grabbed onto this outside part and, and spun around and gotten dizzy, but you're learning to get more and more toward that eye of the storm and you're, you're able to rest in your center more and more while the change goes on around you. And this is kind of where you are now. You're really, this is a beautiful foundation for um, accepting change, moving down your path in life, and also for the sense of releasing things. This is a beautiful, beautiful triad here of cards um, that gives you that power and that knowledge. You know, I'm good. I'm on my way to good things. I don't need these things anymore, and here I go, right? Change doesn't scare me. I'm going to go with it. I'm going to sit right here and, and go with it. <laughs> okay, your next internal energy is this projections. So you might still have a residual of, um, like I said, you know, you're not really too worried about how others see you. You're listening to your inner voice, but it might creep up now and then, you know, that others' expectations of you are playing in your mind. Um, that's okay, right? That's fine because that is a reality of how we have to interact with others and how we have to, um, you know, our, our egoic self has to navigate through the, the daily world, right? Is that others are throwing opinions at you and making judgments and asking, you know, um, for outcomes that maybe your inner voice doesn't agree with, but they're, they're going to be there, right? All that stuff. And it's going to be there. It's a matter of how you stay grounded to navigate past it. Because like I said, the one relationship that matters the very most is the one with you. So you're getting that you're solidifying it and you're able to let stuff go no matter what others think. Um, but you got this, you got this, okay? Next, external energy. This is the third reading I've had with this card in this position. I love it because this is talking about a lot of us are having an opening, an opening of our hearts, and it's actually connecting into our world. This card sharing is showing that once you, you know, start to really follow your inner guidance and let go of the things that aren't serving you, you are more free then. You have a more of a lighter load, say, to be able to connect with others and share who you are and express yourself out to others. You feel um, more inclined to do that and your connections will get stronger because of it, okay? So it's release the old to create the new, okay? The top line here of your internal energies and sort of the, um, the outcome, I guess, of your internal path at this time is the totality card. So you're going to, this this card shows these acrobats. Um, you know, if one of them doesn't pay attention to what's going on or starts to think about, you know, what time am I gonna pick up my daughter from school, they're all gonna go falling down, right? This is asking you to stay in this zone, right? Stay in this connection to your higher self and your inner voice, understand, you know, as the change goes on around you, you're good, you're grounded, stay there, you know, try to keep achieving that sense of equanimity. If you do, I mean, we know things are going to happen and to ruffle us up in our lives. But um, first of all, the more you release old ways and old heavier burdens and um, relationships that aren't serving you and literally your belongings, the more you release, the more free you are to keep moving about and um, run your life the way you want it as long as you stay in that grounded space. The outcome of your um, external side here and the, the shift into a new awareness is this card politics. This is a mind card and this is warning you to um, watch out for others that, well, we all have, we all go around with our masks on from time to time, right? We all do. Be careful not to put yours back on too much. This this energy here, the sharing energy, is really where you kind of want to stay. And if you see yourself going toward, oh, you know, I'm going to turn back into this person that others, like, like the projections card asked, this person that others are expecting, you know, that's not your true self. So just stay mindful of when you tend to go toward that. Um, 
And what I want to say in the way this reading is, is these lower energies here, this is kind of where you want to hang out more, right there, and, and start everything with this, releasing that old stuff, and then getting grounded into what your new experience is. Then you, you can avoid this energy here. You can avoid that um, sort of falseness from others and yourself to others as well. So revert back into this, um, you know, tapping into your higher self, you know, continuing to be alerted to and actually just aware of the changes that are going on around you and within you and um, use your inner voice as a guide. But you got this, okay? All right, Libra, thank you so much and I will talk to you guys really soon. That's it. Love you guys, bye.